Okay, so it would really help if I push the play button, the record button. Oh, good lord. Um, wow. Apparently I cannot operate a simple cell phone. Um, all right, so I will just have to reiterate to you what I just told you, even though I wasn't telling you. Um, that's as loud as it goes, but I'm not going to play it very long because I don't want to blow your speakers up. But, um, okay, so this is a review of this Black Web CD player um, boombox that I just bought from Walmart. Horrible experience. Horrible, 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 horrible experience. Um, even though this is the second time that I've used this, um, <laughs> still not very good compared to what I would expect. Um, this is a popular Christian station around here um, <clears throat> that um, should come out a lot clearer than it is, and it's not. Um, and I'll go ahead and turn over to the other station that I'm expecting is going to come in clear. And that's really, really horrible reception for being as close to Sony 102.1's emanation point. Um, their office is actually on Simpson and Jeffries here in Aberdeen. I live in Hoquim, which is a sister city of it. And that's like two miles probably just under three miles. I know it's three and a half to Safeway, so. Um, yeah, this is not the best CD player I've ever used. Okay, so again, Willow's Bones. This CD player does not like to function. It's playing. And that's as loud as it goes. I doubt I broke anybody's speakers. Um, I'm sorry if I did. But the first time that I tried this, um, when I was on the radio earlier, it did not um, produce very much volume. I turned the volume knob all the way up, and that's a that's about as loud as it got. Okay, so let's go to the Bluetooth. Um, oops. <laughs> 